thank you for joining me today. I'm making cards and we're doing this with hand decorated papers and card. Um, and this is a technique that I've used in previous videos. It's called paste grain and I used a technique here called stamping off. So I've used a big fat sponge stamp and I've stamped into the wet paint to be able to do this. You can look at this on my video. But these make very, very unusual backgrounds. And today I'm just going to make a very, very simple card with it to show you how you could use your things. So what I have here is 160 grams white card. I have some pearl, sort of creamy yellow um, corrugated card. And I corrugated this myself. I've got a little tool that I just wind the paper through. So I've cut that to the full size of the front of my card. And then I have a slightly smaller piece of my hand decorated paper. I love the colors together. And that's why I've chosen to use this lighter pearl color just as um, a way to get the background of my hand decorated card to pop. So let's start layering this up. I'm using double sided tape to stick this down with. And um, just use the craft knife to get the backing tape off. I find it a lot easier to do it this way. Except this time I seem to have lifted everything up. <laughs> One of the secrets is, is that you do need to have the edges or the corners really um, rubbed down quite well. Not always as easy to do on something like corrugated card, which is not flat, which is why sometimes it does lift. But don't worry, you can just put it down again and rub over it. I don't want to squash the corrugation, so I'm careful about pressing too hard. You can normally find double-sided tape at your hardware store or your local stationery shop. It comes in a whole variety of different widths and it's one of my best um, go-to craft material. Um, I find it useful for all sorts of things. And at one point in my life I was making costumes for the theatre. And I can't tell you on how many different occasions double-sided tape saved the day um, in keeping unusual bits of trim in place or sometimes sticking costumes to bodies where perhaps we'd had to swap cast and the costumes didn't fit always and we didn't have time somebody had fallen sick so it really was an amazing thing um, they use it for a whole lot of different things there we go last little bit coming up right I want this to be flush with the edge of my card so what I'm going to do to stick it down is to just lay this onto the table so that I get it flat on the edge. Line up the edges of the sides nicely. And there we go, I'll stick that down. And then I'm just going to take the back of this tape off here as well. I'd love to hear what sort of cards you enjoy making. Um, yeah, I know some of you make extraordinary cards. I have a friend in my city here, uh, Lynn, she makes the most beautiful cards with an incredible amount of detail and I always admire her work because I'm afraid I'm not as patient as she is for doing it and the other thing that she's very good at is doing teeny teeny little detail with you know minute pieces of pearl and equipment and things and I just can't even begin to imagine myself doing that always thought I'd build a doll's house one day, but I don't think I've got the right fingers for it. Right, so I've got a very simple background there. Now what I've done is I've taken a piece of handmade paper. This has um, got yellow fibers in and a little few little black flecks. I've layered a piece of my pearlized corrugated card on top of that, and I've put a little sentiment over. And I just need to put some double-sided tape on. Quick, quick, I thought I'd done that, so please bear with me. I don't like to keep you all waiting. There we go. So let me just get this last little bit up. Oopsie. Sticking to everything. Here we go. Right, so now I'm going to just stick this in the center of my card like that. Um, there we go. I want the top of my top flower to show up. 
And there we have it, a very nice simple little birthday card. Um, or for any other occasion, it doesn't particularly say happy birthday, it just says wrapped with love. So there you are. But a very unusual background and I'm very pleased with that. I hope you can see that nicely. Okay, the details of how to make this paste grain paper are in my playlist, so please have a look. Bye for now. So I had a change of heart and I've actually decided to put the sentiment down in the bottom right hand corner so that the card would stand up like that. Just simply so I didn't cover up too much of that design. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Bye.